All right, what's up, bringers? Uh, this is Travis with my bring back, and what we're gonna do in this tutorial is kind of walk through the XML. This is gonna be your layout. Um, you'll see in a second. But before we do that, I just want to show you how to launch that emulator that we set up. Um, basically, all you need to do is go up to your window and down to the Android SDK and AVD manager. Excuse me. And right here is all of your visual devices that you set up. We set up that one called Droid X or whatever you labeled it is. And we're just going to click on this here and hit start. Um, basically, we want. Um, a lot of the times this will launch in a different perspective or different size that you want to. So this is the best way to um, change that size to something you would like to work with, I guess. So we're going to hit scale display to real size right here, this check mark, and then we're going to say like 6. Um, something like that, that works. We're going to hit launch and uh, X out of there. And here's our emulator. And we'll let that load for a second. And now we're going to go into our XML, um, or basically our layout of what our application is looking at. And we'll get to this in a second. Right now, as you see, this is the main Java that we're working with. And it references our main XML uh, layout.main. Um, and as you can see, under your resources folder, there is a folder called layouts and then there's an XML called main. That's basically what that Java is referencing right there. But we're gonna open that up and here is our XML. And as you can see down here, there's two different views. Our actual XML where you're gonna write the code and our graphical layout. This is what it's gonna look like on our phone, our visual device. It just says, hello world main. Pretty boring, pretty lame. And so we're gonna go back into this main and I'm just gonna show you kind of a walkthrough of the XML. And you guys are going to be surprised how simple this is. And if you aren't, if you're kind of confused, don't worry. You'll pick it up really quickly. Don't worry. So I'm just going to hit Control. And uh, down here, just hit Control V to copy another uh, text view. Basically what a text view is, is that text that you saw there. This Hello Main. Since I copied and pasted it, there's two of those. And what this... Uh, Basically, every text view or every item you add to an Excel XML layout uh, will have a width and height. For the width, we're going to say fill, fill parent. Um, as you can see, if we scroll over this, um, both of them are the same, so it's going to be pretty similar. But as you can see, the, it highlights the whole width of the Android device. So this is how wide this item is going to take up for XML layout. And for the height, it's going to wrap the content. So it's going to wrap the text height. Um, we didn't really estab uh, establish the text height, but uh, whatever it is, it's going to wrap it. See, as you can see, it just wraps that text height. For example, here's our second one. Uh, this is going to, the first one's going to wrap the height of the text. The second one, we're going to change it to fill parent. So obviously, it's going to fill everything that's available. Um, in the Android emulator or the the device you're working on so we're gonna hit that and we're just gonna click save and then we're gonna go to the graphical layout it's not gonna change your text size but as you can see if you highlight over here it's gonna change that whole um, the height of basically of this object um, as you can see it will kinda highlight uh, the, the whole height that's available left um, so basically the only other thing is that we have defined in this text view object is the the text the text that's appearing on the screen and so as you can see here the Android text is at reference string hello and you're like what no it's not it says hello main what in the world's going on basically um, what this is doing is it's referencing a string a string variable called hello and where is that string variable located in our values folder under our references or our resources I'm sorry so here's your values and we're gonna go into strings and as you can see there's something called hello and basically the reference for hello is called hello and actual value of hello is hello world main 
So what's going on here is it's referencing that variable hello, which actually means hello world main. So we could change this to uh, this is a reference. Or actually, this is the hello reference. And we're going to hit save. And then also, we're going to mess around here because you don't always have to use references. We're going to say, this is what's up. So we have two, again, two different examples. It's referencing the hello from the resources. And this is actually just a text that we made up. Basically, um, I'm sorry, I'm just going to save it and show you guys what's up. So uh, here's our hello reference, and here is our what's up. This is what's up. Um, basically, I'm going to go back into the XML and kind of just walk through why a reference would be important. For example, if you made an app where you had a logo or, I mean, just a defined text uh, as your like header or whatever you want, and your boss is, like, keeps changing that on you, this would be an easy way to keep it in one place and your values strings in your values strings uh, folder here and every time your boss change, changes the title or the header or whatever you can change it here and it'll change it through every other reference you use for your applica application if not you can just kind of type whatever you want as Android text and then here is our emulator that we started up I'm just going to show you quickly how to run this application onto our emulator. It's pretty simple. All we gotta go is into our actual project folder, which we called the basics, or whatever you call it. And we're gonna right click and go down to run as Android application. And when we do that, it's gonna load onto our Android emulator or our device that we have plugged into the computer. I'll show you guys how to do that later, but as you can see, yeah, it opened up our application and showed exactly what our, our graphical layout displayed. So it's nothing nothing new or nothing special, but I just wanted to show you how to use the emulator, how to run it on that em emulator. So that's pretty much the end of the tor tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe, check out my bring back for a little bit more organization in these tutorials because it'll help you out. Also, there's a form there. There's a community that can help you guys out when you're struggling. And I hope, hope to see you guys there. So uh, thanks again and peace.